Hello everyone, I'm Rodney for 3GameMan.com and today I'm looking at the Amped Wireless Tapex High Power Wi-Fi Range Extender. This thing comes with a touchscreen right on it. Yes, a touchscreen. You do not need to use a laptop or another computer system to connect to it, to configure it and do all that kind of stuff. It's super easy to set up. Oh, the box that it comes in has your typical amped wireless color theme, green and white. I think it looks quite beautiful. It also has plenty of features and specifications as well as pictures. Now, let's open it up and see what's inside. It comes in this environmentally friendly packaging material. They include a CD that has documentation and videos and stuff on it. Oh, and this Wi-Fi analytics tool. This is pretty neat. You can get this for Android, Windows, etc. You put it on your tablet, your smartphone, your computer system. And what it does is gives you information about the Wi-Fi networks in your area, which is very important. You can get some really crucial information about setting up your network and, you know, making it not conflict with some other network that's out there and that kind of stuff. Pretty darn neat. Actually, I have that installed on my smartphone. It's very useful. They include information here on the warranty. Oh, my gosh, stop. Uh, basically, if you see something missing or if you have any problems, just get them a ring quick setup guide and the goodies the unit itself is wrapped up very well it comes with this stand the antenna and this here we have a little warning it says to avoid damage attach the antenna before connecting the power adapter to the device so I will do that now let's have a closer look at this and to protect it they have this plastic which I will remove oh and look at all of the shiny bits here. That's going to attract dust and fingerprints, you know, but it looks sweet. And this is sweet, the screen, which I'll get to. Let's put everything together. The stand, first of all, just kind of slides in here at the back like so. You can choose to, of course, mount this on the wall if you want to, because there is mounting holes. But I will use the stand for now. Then attach the antenna and finally make the power adapter connection. Okay, so before I show you how to set this thing up using the fancy three and a half inch touchscreen display, let's go through the specifications. You know, the boring stuff. Let's get it out of the way. First of all, it supports 802.11 BGNN networks. It is 2.4 gigahertz though, not five gigahertz. And the wireless speed will vary, of course. It depends on like, you know, where you have this in relationship to the Wi-Fi router and what's in between and all that jazz, about 300 megabits per second. This though includes something that you would not get from a cheap, you know, Wi-Fi extender, and that's amplifiers. There are two 2.4 gigahertz amplifiers, and they are up to 800 milliwatts as well. They have two low noise adapters included. Now, as for security, well, it has WEP, WPA, WPA2, as well as WPA mixed, and WPS. Now, as for access scheduling, well, you can schedule day and time. That's good. Also, wireless coverage can be controlled. You can adjust that anywhere from 15 all the way up to 100%. And that could come in handy because maybe, you know, you don't want to extend it outside, for example, of your particular home. If your property is like 30 or 40 feet across, you might necessarily want to share the signal with your neighbors, you know, fear of getting hacked and them using your network and all that type of stuff. Now, let's look at the different connections on the unit. The overall styling, build quality, and fit and finish on this is quite nice. Again, you've got the shiny bits on the front, as well as the three and a half inch touchscreen display, their logo, and let's have a look on this side. At the top is where the antenna gets connected. Here's a reset button, as well as a USB port. Very handy to have because, well, you can share stuff like videos and files, which is excellent. Also, two wired ports, and here's where the power adapter gets connected. There's lots of ventilation at the bottom, back, and top. It has a stand, which I showed you earlier. 
comes off really easily, installs just as easily. Note that the stand itself has two rubber feet, and there's also two rubber feet on the unit itself. Let's just take this off to get it out of the way so you can see the information sticker. That includes the serial number, MAC address, as well as the model number and setup info. If you want to do it the old-fashioned way, you can connect it into a computer system and in the address bar, type in setup.amplowires.com, and from there, you go ahead and set it up, but why? You got a touch screen, you can do it that way, which I'll show you in just a minute. Also, it shows the SSID name, the WPS pin, and if you want to reset it, hold it down for five or 10 seconds. Oh, and they have a stylus integrated here at the top left. You can just pull it out like so. Okay, so let's set this thing up. First of all, you'll need to scan for the available Wi-Fi networks in your area. And this is mine at the top, so I'm going to select that and go next and then enter the security key. So I'll be back in just a moment. And then next. And then you can choose to change the SSID on the extender. If not, you can leave it the same. Also give it a security key and go next. And it will go through all of the checks and at the end, it will just finish the setup. Okay, so let's go through some of the on-screen options that you have. You can go into Wi-Fi settings here. You can go into your home network. See information on that. Go back, extended network, guest network, connected devices, as well as wireless coverage. You can adjust, as I mentioned before, you can adjust at 100, 70%, 50%, 35%, or 15%. Access control, that could come in handy. WPS. And the user access. Let's go back. You've got management. Different screen settings. Set the time and date. System details. Statistics, as well as USB storage sharing, get logs, turn on or off, firmware update, which you can check. You can do the web menu, support and about. Let's go back to home. And when you are connected, it will show you the signal strength. And if you're connecting to another network, all you need to do to set things up again is scan, find the network that you want to connect to, and you'll be able to connect to it quite easily using this fancy, nifty, very useful touch screen display that is so, so unique. Oh, and look at this, on display timeout, you can get it to display the time and date. There's no doubt about it. This is the coolest range extender that I've ever seen. Super easy to set up and connect to your wireless network without the need of really having any kind of networking knowledge. Just scan for your wireless router, find it, enter you know, the security key, and then go from there and it's set up really really easy and i think this is really the next kind of step in a lot of devices possibly having this kind of interface but overall this is 100 percent kick-ass until next time take care